Konnichiwa, it stars here, and today we're going to be discussing the Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct. Uh, I've calmed down, it's been a couple hours since I watched it and I finished editing the video. Uh, I highly recommend you go watch my reaction first. It'll be in a corner somewhere. Uh, I do have um, notes and stuff. I'm not gonna, I'm obviously not gonna talk about everything, everything, in case you wanna watch it for yourself. I will link um, the whole direct uh, in the description down below. Um, I just want to touch up on some stuff and kind of get my thoughts out because whoosh, it just kind of whoosh. So, um, so let's talk about the uh, the free stuff first. They give they're giving us a lot of uh, good free stuff. Of course, obviously the big thing that they you know announced to reel everybody in was obviously Brewster. Um, from the cafe, um, he I I guess he was in previous titles. I know he was in New Leaf because New Leaf was um, New Leaf was the first Animal Crossing game I ever played. Uh, they brought back Captain, who um, with his boat, his boat was a new addition in New Leaf. So I'm glad they brought him back. Um, Harvey's Island, that was pretty cool. Like it was once a just a photography studio, but now the little pop-up shops that used to come to your plaza, like Kicks and um, Kicks and Leaf, they have a permanent shop set up there. And other visitors like Sahara and Red, who come like on a schedule, like a visit special visitor schedule, they have a permanent shop set up there too, which is good because I heard that people were complaining that uh, Red wouldn't show up on their island for like months or weeks at a time and they couldn't complete the art for the museum so that's really cool uh, i'm glad that uh harriet's back harriet is the hairstylist like for shampoo and we get new hairstyles with her uh retail uh can help you customize like already made items like they showed the lighthouse that was pretty cool uh i'm glad that we have what's the next point <sighs> let's see islander interactions that that's cool i'm i was waiting for them to kind of have this thing where the villagers would show up like the villagers would talk about it in dialogue and they're like haha just kidding but now it's actually no haha not just kidding come over to my house which is cool and i like how you know they can pop in like they used to do so that's really fun uh the island ordinances now that is interesting that was something that was implemented in New Leaf for your town, for those of you who don't know. And of course you could make it like um, beautiful, so like there's no weeds, there's only flowers, early bird, uh, the shops open early, villagers are up earlier. Night Owl means that everything closes a bit later. And Bell Boom, I wanna say Bell Boom makes everything more expensive, like it makes you have like a wealthy, so they changed it from a wealthy town to Bell Boom, okay. Um, new house exterior options, that's pretty cool. I don't know what I'm gonna change my house to. Um, if I could get a picture, you can see what my house kind of looks like now. It's a cute little blue cottage type thing. Uh, we have new Nook Mile rewards. That's pretty cool. I won't go, I won't, I'm not gonna go into full detail. I have so many notes. Um, and plus, if you guys want to watch it, you totally can. So, oh, cooking. That, that's amazing. That we have cooking implemented now. And you can grow crops, like besides the pumpkins that were introduced for the Halloween update that one year. Um, you can grow sugar cane, and tomatoes, and potatoes, and carrots and stuff. And you can get cooking DIY recipes. And you can you know, have them displayed like in a kitchen setting or you could just eat them and you get energy. Um, yeah, which is really good because the energy can be used for like, you know, digging up whole trees, breaking rocks, that kind of stuff. So that's really cool. Um, I wonder if there's like a way to like combine the recipes that you made and so like one bigger recipe. I wonder how that's going to affect uh, the Thanksgiving event, Turkey Day, in New Horizons. Is Turkey Day even in New Horizons? I'm not even sure. Um, 
I wonder if it's just gonna be the same or do you actually have to help cook and like get the crops and stuff I don't know we will have to see um, what else do I have on here? Oh, so there's, I noticed that there was a DIY that you could get called Pro Decoration License. That's awesome. You can finally put stuff on the ceilings like they did with the um, Welcome Amiibo update for New Leaf. You have stuff on the ceilings, new uh, accent walls. So that would be really cool instead of just having like the whole room be one color, the whole room be one wallpaper. You could have one wall be this color, one wall be the other color, and that wall be the other color. You could just make it explode and make it look nice. So that would that's really nice. Uh, let's see. We're getting a lot of new fencing, which is great because I was having trouble deciding uh, what fencing to use for this little bamboo garden that I have. So that's good. We're getting um, green bamboo. That's the one I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use green bamboo fencing for the in-between big one this is another big one a storage shed so not only are we getting 5,000 max storage units for our house we also have a storage shed which connects to your uh, house storage you could place it wherever you want I'm, I'm I'm thinking it's going to be just like the lockers in New Leaf where the lockers connected to your home storage and you could access like the lockers from anywhere like you were in the like i know there were lockers in the museum and then there was lockers at the train station so i wonder if like you go over to your friend's island and you're like oh i forgot i have a gift for you you can go into your you can go into their storage thing at their island but it connects to your house does that make sense i, I hope that makes sense um the abd that's pretty cool. They had that in, uh, I don't know what other tiles they had it in, but I know they had it in New Leaf. So you can just kind of have an ABD instead of running back and forth, you know, because like depending on how far, you know, your shop is from the, from the town hall. That's pretty cool. Uh, new KK Slider songs. I can't wait for that. I wonder, I wonder what they're uh, going to sound like. Um, the only ones I noticed that actually had names, there was Chill Wave, Basement, Break, I don't know how to say this one. Corino, dub, um, food, wig, I don't know. Hip hop, there's polka. I saw some like pop idol Hatsune Miku looking thing. I'm not sure what that's gonna be about. There was one called Lovers. Uh, there was one at the bottom. I couldn't see what the first part said, but the last part said key. I think it's a key. And then on top of that, music boxes are also back. Uh, it looks like there's two different styles of music boxes. There was one that was, I noticed there was one that was clamshell, like the uh, giant clamshells that you could take to Cyrus in New Leaf and you could make it into a clamshell music box. But then there's like also a, a traditional music box as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, all right. Whew. Almost I'm glad that gyroids are back. Um, gyroids have been a staple since I want to say the, the beginning. I want to say so, yeah. So I'm kind of glad they're back. I'm also glad that they are a smaller size because they look like they could be you know, put them on the table before. And I remember in New Leaf, you had to put them on the floor because they were just so big. But I'm glad that they're small. You can put as many as you want. Um, you can also customize them, which I thought was really interesting. Kind of match the room. It looks like we're getting uh, new ones. I've never seen, never, never seen before. Gyroids. So that would that be cool. I find it interesting that you you can get them without having to wait for it to rain. So if you dig, like they introduced the gyroid fragment. So you dig up fragment and then you plant it again and you water it. And then the next day, it'll be a gyroid. But you can get more like regular gyroids after it rains. Huh, that's interesting. Um, so yeah, that's all I have written down 
for the free stuff is all coming the same day. Oh my goodness. Okay. So uh, let's talk about the uh, the paid stuff now, like the DLC, um, the new Amiibo cards. That's exciting. Let's talk about the Amiibo cards first. I'll have the pictures up here as well. So the characters that are new, like, okay, that originally came with um, New Horizons, so like the new, like the new characters, so like Sherb, Sherb, Megan, Dom, Audie, Sid, Judy, Raymond, and Renee, they're all getting Amiibo cards now, as well as uh, NPCs who haven't had, uh, like Harvey and Wisp haven't had Amiibo cards before, so now they get them, and then uh, we have uh, the five five new NPCs that didn't haven't had Amiibo cards, so Orville, Wilbur, CJ, Flake, and Daisy May, so those will be in there but then we're also getting new villagers as well so we have uh two new two new uh npc characters nico and wardell which are a part of the dlc which i will speak on later but then we also have um new characters we have sasha i love sasha i gotta have sasha in my town uh i own i think i own it i own Gotta have her in my town too. She's super spacey. Um, Tiang Shang. I hope I'm saying that right. I think he's based off the Monkey King. That's what it looks like. Uh, Shino. I gotta have Shino. She's super cute. Um, Marlo. Looks like a secret agent type. Um, Petri. Or is it Petri? Like Petri dish? Really? Okay. And then Cephalobot, I love Cephalobot. I gotta have Cephalobot too, if I can. Uh, Quinn, Quinn looks pretty cool. Uh, Chabwick, Zoe, Zoe looks like she has a hood on. Is it just me? I can't tell, but it does look like she has a hood on. Uh, Ace, isn't there already a virgin named Ace? If I can find it, it'll be up here. Uh, Rio, looks like based off Rio de Janeiro. Fret, so okay. The thing I find interesting is Fret kind of looks like Pom Pom Purin. So I'm thinking like, okay, this is what Pom Pom Purin probably would have looked like if they did the Sanrio characters based on their animal. So instead of it being like Marty as a bear, it'd be Marty, but it would be this dog. I find it interesting. Uh, we have Azalea, Azalea is pretty cute, the flower little maid. Roswell, and Faith. Faith is cute too. Faith also looks like she has a hood on. So does Chadwick. Chadwick looks like he has a hood on too. So, yeah. So these uh, characters, I think they are super cute. It says that there are 48 cards. Uh, we don't, I think there's two that we don't know. I don't think they showed us all of them. Unless they're including NBC characters. I don't know. Um... So yeah, I'm gonna have to try and make space. I'm gonna have to try and probably buy pre-order a lot of cards because there's only six to a pack. It's not like the Sanrio Amiibo cards where you've got all the villagers in one pack. It's six to a pack and you, and it's completely random, you may not even get the new villager. Like you may open it and you could get um, like two NPCs and then the rest could be like, you know, Sid and Audie and Raymond and or Judy or whatever. Or you could get, you know, one of the newer NPCs and then like something like Fret, Quinn. I honestly don't mind. I honestly like the majority of these uh, series five. So even if I do get them, their cards are really cool and I have a binder for them. So yeah, that's super cute. So I, my main three I'm hoping to get are Sasha, Iona, and Chino. Um, I definitely will be making a video of uh, me unboxing the cards and showing the cards off when I eventually get them, which also come out November 5th. So the free update, November 5th. The Amiibo cards, November 5th. And then the DLC. So the DLC, for those of you who don't know, is based off a game called Happy Home Designer. 
that was released for the 3DS. Love that game. The premise is basically the same. You can, um, you know, decorate the um, the islanders' houses. They call it vacation homes. In Happy Home Designer, you were actually designing their their actual houses. Like, okay, yeah, you can pick the plot, change the seasons. Only thing new that I noticed, like comparing it to Happy Home Designer and Happy Home Paradise, is the partitions, which is great. Counters, um, actually being able to like decorate their yard properly, like with fences and pathing, that's new. Um, the light, the light settings, that was a lot. Like you could change the temperature and like change how bright it is to give it like a nice mood setting. I bet you can take like whatever you learned from that DLC and bring it to your island so now we can redecorate our own house with countertops and partitions and stuff like that. Oh, my kitchen's gonna look so cute when I'm done with it. I'm gonna have to probably redo my whole entire house and rethink my whole entire island plan. Thank you, Nintendo. I love you so much. Also, I'm surprised they also mentioned the Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack in this because the DLC comes with it. So uh, let me let me break this down. So if you have the regular yearly Nintendo Switch membership and you don't want to upgrade to the expansion pack, you can buy the DLC separately for $24.99. $25. Great. But if you want to switch over, like if you're if you're new to the Nintendo Switch online experience and you want like the whole shebang, like you want the base set and you want the expansion pack, that's gonna run you 50 bucks for the whole year. They didn't give monthly prices, so I guess they don't have a monthly plan for it. Unless they do, I don't know. But for people who are currently in the online membership and they wanna slide over to the expansion pack, you'll get a discount uh, depending on how like how close your uh, thing is to expiring. Sorry, my computer had shut off. It's like, shut up, you're talking too much. <laughs> so yeah, considering like, how close your thing is to expiring, you'll get a, a discount. My online subscription ends the, the next day. So it ends the 6th and it comes out on the 5th. So I gotta see how much discount I'm gonna be able to get for that. I'm gonna be so mad if I'm gonna end up paying 50 bucks. Well, I mean, for me personally, it's good because you have the Nintendo 64 games and you have the DL, the Animal Crossing DLC, which is great. I'm excited for those two. Sega Genesis, eh, I don't really care about that too much. I'm, I'm mainly focused on the uh, N64 and um, the Animal Crossing DLC. So that is super duper exciting um let me know what you guys thought of the direct in the comments down below let me know your thoughts comment please i would really appreciate it um so yeah thank you guys uh so much for watching uh, i hope you guys enjoyed again i will leave uh all the links in the description down below like, i'll leave the direct link and page animal crossing web page that'll all be down there. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to stay kawaii!